This video will show step-by-step -step how to restore a concrete balcony with MAPE's repair mortar, Planetop 13, and protective deck coating, MAPE Coat Deck T. MAPE Coat Deck T is a high-build acrylic coating with a light textured finish for slip resistance. It can be installed over slab-on grade and can be exposed to de-icing salts in freeze-thaw conditions. However, it has limited resistance to vehicular traffic. Do not install in a driveway or parking garage. Review the product limitations on the Technical Data Sheet, or TDS, before selecting Mapecoat Deck T. Mapecoat Deck T comes in four core colors readily available, or it can be tinted to a wide range of selected colors. You can reach out to your Mape sales representative for a custom color match. For this balcony restoration, the customer selected our most popular color, Stone Gray. Before the job site installation, all parties involved should meet and discuss ensuring the selected MAPE products mixing and application procedures are reviewed in full. Make sure to reference the latest version of the TDS available on MAPE's website. Be sure to have the proper personal protective equipment, including gloves, long sleeves, a dust mask, and eye protection. MAPE Coat Deck T can only be installed on a concrete substrate. However, if there is any damage, the deck coating won't hide surface irregularities, so any deteriorated concrete should be removed and repaired with an appropriate MAPE repair mortar, such as Concrete Renew, Concrete Renew Fine, or Planetop 13. The concrete should be clean and sound and mechanically prepared so as to achieve a concrete surface profile of between 5 and 10, as per the ICRI Guideline 310.2R. Here are some examples of tools that can be used to mechanically prepare the concrete. The substrate shall be clean of any contaminants that could interfere with the bond of the Planetop 13 repair mortar. Spray water on the clean concrete so that it is saturated surface dry. There should be no standing water left on the surface. If possible, remove handrails or other anchored elements and protect surrounding surfaces. All cracks exceeding one millimeter width should be treated with a rigid epoxy resin. Use a crack gauge to measure the crack opening. Open the crack in a V-shape with a grinder and apply an epoxy resin such as EpoJet or Planabond HiMod MV. Follow the mixing and installation instructions of the selected products, TDS. Use a trowel to smooth the epoxy resin flush with the substrate. Saturate the fresh epoxy resin with quartz sand to ensure a good bond between the epoxy and the repair mortar. It should be noted that any moving cracks will translate into the repair and the coating. Leave the epoxy resin to cure, then remove any excess sand. For this concrete repair, Planetop 13 was selected as it can be used as a resurfacing mortar for horizontal and vertical surfaces. As well, its non-sagging consistency makes it a great choice for handling any deeper spot repairs needed. To mix and install Planetop 13, you will need the following equipment. A broom for finishing, a clean pail, a mortar mixer, a cup for water measurement, water spray and trowel for installation and finishing. Measure 2.5 liters of clean water per bag of Planetop 13 and pour two-thirds of the water into a clean pail. Add the Planetop 13 powder to the pail and slowly mix. Add the remaining water to the desired consistency and continue mixing for three minutes. The mixed Planetop 13 should have a smooth, uniform, non-sagging consistency. Apply an even layer of Planetop 13 at a minimum thickness of six millimeters and spread evenly with a trowel. Finish with a broom to achieve a CSP2 profile. This will ensure a proper bond for the Mapecoat Deck T. If required, deeper damaged concrete can be repaired with Planetop 13, but first apply a scrub coat into the void for a better bond. Wait until the initial set before applying the resurfacing coat. Planetop 13 can also be used to restore concrete stairs. Use a concrete edging trowel to finish the stair nosings and the broom for the horizontal surface finish. Complete the concrete vertical surface restoration with Planetop 13. For vertical surfaces, use a wet sponge to achieve a smooth finish. Once the application of Planetop 13 is completed, 
Let it cure at least 24 hours without any traffic before applying the Mapeco Deck T Top Coat. To apply Mape Coat Deck T, you will need the proper PPE, such as gloves, long sleeves, and safety glasses. Use edging tape and plastic sheeting to protect surrounding surfaces. A 10 mm paint roller and a paintbrush for details, a paint pan, and a mill gauge to verify application thickness. To estimate the quantities of Mappa Coat Deck T needed, use the grid method. Measure the surface area to cover and estimate the required amount with an approximate yield of 3.93 square meters per liter. Apply edging tape and plastic sheets to protect surrounding surfaces. Use a paint mixer to slowly stir the Mappe Coat Deck T to ensure a uniform color. Do not entrap air within the mix. Then scrape down the sides of the pail before pouring it into the paint pan. The cracks, details, and perimeter of the substrate are first pre-treated with an initial coat, using a paintbrush or a small roller. Fully saturate the 10 mm paint roller with Mape Coat Deck T Top Coat and apply at a thickness of 10 mils. Spread the coating evenly, making sure to keep the wet edge. The substrate should be dry and have a minimum temperature of 4 degrees Celsius and rising for the next 24 hours. Do not install at temperatures above 35 degrees Celsius. Continue application on the concrete stairs. During the application, frequently check the thickness of the fresh coating using the mill gauge. Mape Coat Deck T can also be applied on vertical surfaces for a uniform appearance. Leave the first coat to dry for approximately two hours before applying the second coat. Apply the second coat at a 10 mils thickness, following the same instructions as the first coat. A second coat will ensure uniform coverage and texture. As well, it will cover any pinholes from the primary coat. Once the second coat is applied, the area can be open to light pedestrian traffic after four hours. It will take seven days to fully cure at 23 degrees Celsius. Once the installation is completed, make sure to review the Mappe Coat Deck T maintenance guide with the owner. Mappe Coat Deck T requires minimal maintenance for a durable service life and will provide resistance to winter conditions and to UV rays. The coating should be inspected every year for any failure. If needed, immediately repair any defects. For any questions, reach out to your MapPay sales representative for more information.